Hi right, folks and welcome to the channel. In the world of the Swedish chainsaw death metal sound, as we all know, the uh, the Boss HM2 pedal is king. Uh, but uh, yeah, they stopped making them a long time ago, although they are making a new Wazza version. So hopefully, maybe get one on the channel at some point. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, second hand, they go for ridiculous money. And there is alternatives out there. So today, we're going to be looking at the, uh, the Behringer HM300. So it's time for a pedal review. Right, we're all plugged in. So the uh, the signal path is the solar A2.6. Just had to be a solar. We're either going to be this one or the seven string. I decided to go with the six string. <coughs> be with default. That's going directly into the HM300. That's going in front of the DV Mark 7 into the clean channel. That's going into the Halliburton uh, 1 with 12 with the V30s and mic'd up with an SM57. So, this is what it sounds like. Oh, and before I forget, uh, there's no post processing. I'm not even going to put any uh, high and low pass filter. Sometimes I do just put a bit of a high and low pass filter. But yeah, no post processing on this. But yeah. Uh, don't forget that, uh, yeah, with YouTube compression, yada, yada, yada. And with whatever setup you've got at home, if you've not got one of these, you're thinking about it, it may sound a little bit different, but yeah. And this is what it sounds like um, without the pedal engaged. So, as with the HM2 pedal, since it's going for that HM2, it's a clone of the HM2, we've got everything maxed out. Just listen at that. All the gain.
yeah that's what it sounds like in the typical hm2 mold sound settings that's it settings settings that's the word i'm looking for settings so uh let, let me just have a little bit of a play about with the uh the dials on there and uh see what all the sounds we can get out of there So there you go, folks. That's the uh, the Benninger HM three hundred, the uh, one of the pretenders to the uh, crown, if you will, to the HM two. What do I think about this? Good points and bad points. Yeah, I mean, as we all know, most of Benninger's pedals are in these plastic cases, and yeah, they can be easily knocked and kicked about. But I mean, all, all the Benninger pedals that I've owned i think i still own most of the ones i've got all the dials are pretty smooth and they're not going to move anywhere they're they're solid they're, they're not moving anywhere i yeah it's plastic casing you can always bang it in a in a metal casing if you will but yeah i've never had any problems with foot switches or anything on any of these like i say with the plastic cases we I mean, if you've got it on a pedal board, you're not ripping the, uh, the jacks in and out all the time. But yeah, does it get it close to the HM2 sound? To me, it's not exactly the HM2 sound. It's not far off, but it's not exactly the HM2 sound. You can dial in some other time. Just with that, uh, them little sound clips there. <laughs> got a bit of a sort of a doomy tone to it uh, in there and yeah i mean you'd fair enough you've only got a, a low and a mid eq which yeah on the hm2 that's all you've got as well but uh, yeah so you're not going to get a, a whole variety of tones but uh, you're not really sort of buying these pedals for um if you will if you will the uh, you're not buying these pedals for all race range of super clean super crystal clear metal tones are you you're buying it to be nasty and dirty and that's what it does well you get these pedals absolutely everywhere i'll uh, i'll put some links 
down in the description. I have got a couple of um, the HM2 uh, plugins as well. So at some point, you'll definitely see this in a, a Tongue Wars um, against those two. Let me know what you guys think about that, this pedal. And that's all for this video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me a Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.